Hey, what's up, fam? This is Pastor Aaron. And I'm trying to do these pastoral encouragements along with all the other elders to try to come before you because I know we can't be together on a regular basis. But hopefully you can hear our voices. I hope you're taking time to watch this or other pastors who are sharing different things in our congregation and all just in an attempt to minister to you. So here's my pastoral counsel for you in this season, for our church family. Be intentional about remembering the faithfulness of God. Be intentional about it. Because here's what will happen to us. What we will do is get in times like this and start walking by sight rather than by faith. We see all that's happening in the world and we can see it affecting our hearts, but not just our hearts. We can see it affecting the way we view God. That he's distant, that he's far, that he, he can't do it. This is too powerful, whatever it may be. It's kind of like the children of Israel who were delivered from bondage, physical, emotional, spiritual, all kinds of bondage. They were fully delivered from it and brought into the desert before they go into the promised land. And when they face hunger and pain and attacks in the desert, they start seeing their deliverance differently than they did at the time. They say, I want to go back to Egypt. It wasn't that bad. It was warm and secure and there was tons of food. And this is what happens when we are walking by sight. We actually, it's not that we forget, it's that we remember our history differently. We remember it completely differently. We do not see that in the midst of all kinds of bondage and pain and struggle and oppression, God has been faithful to heal, to care for, and to bring us out. And then he's going to bring us into a promised future and a life. But right now, even as I'm saying these things, it's hard to believe it because your feelings are like, well, it's not, ha- it's not now. And I don't know if God is real and there's all kinds of things going on around me, but I would remind you to be intentional about remembering the faithfulness of God. Sure, circumstances of life change and seasons come and go, but God is faithful. Think about how many times he's met you, provided for you, cared for you, whether it was your sin or the sins of others that were coming against you, how many times he's vindicated you and how many times he's covered you and cleansed you and how many times he's provided for you and meals are showing up and and your body was healed and he walked you through sickness and he provided all kinds of, how many times has God proven his love, his care, his provision And that he's got something for you, that he's working these things and he's in the midst of it and he's leading and guiding. It's endless because God is faithful. So I want you to remember his faithfulness and then let his faithfulness shape the way you see your present reality, our present reality. Because I want to remind you, he is going to do and he is doing what he always does he's caring for us he's leading us he's guiding us he's protecting us he's healing he's comforting he's he's helping and he's taking us into a day if you will and he'll faithfully get us there when all things are going to be made new i don't know about you but that allows me in the midst of this to remember the truth of God and to remember that I am in his hands and he is working in me. He's working in us and he's and he's going somewhere. God is faithful. You're saying, well, what if I don't feel that way? Here's, here's what I would encourage you. Preach to your soul. David did it. He said, bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that is within me. Bless your holy name. Bless his holy name. And I just pray that we will 
know what we're feeling, understand what we're feeling, but we're also preach to those things, preach to our soul, the faithfulness of God. Church, I, I, I ask you to practice this. I think it's a discipline that we should practice, thanksgiving and remembering. Then, so that means you got to take time to practice it. Maybe after this video, you sneak away and spend time with the Lord, or maybe there's time in the morning that you're doing it, but just write down his faithfulness. Remember the things that he's done for you. And let that shape the way you see now. Church, I love you so much. So thankful to be a part of this family. Can't wait to spend time with you and together when we can. But God is with us and God is faithful. And he's going to work all this together for his good and for us who are called according to his purpose. I love you. Thanks for watching this. God bless you.